Say what's cracking YouTube? It's your boy 16 to life and I'm back like I'm on a pro violation. Yard down. Now for those of y'all that's new to my page, in 1994, I got arrested. I was eventually sentenced to 16 years plus life. I ended up doing 24 years straight in the California prison system. During that time, I accumulated some good stories and I'm going to hit y'all with one today. In the event you like this story or you dislike this story, definitely be sure to leave a comment. You know, I know everybody don't necessarily agree with the lifestyle and I respect it and I understand that. But it's to the point that when cats become getting, uh, when cats start to get disrespectful, saying stuff like that, I'm not just to go back and forth with you. I'm not here to prove nothing to you. I'm just to block you and we gonna do it moving. That's how I'm pushing from here on out. Uh, so if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. That way, anytime I drop a story, you will be notified and you can hop on it ASAP. With that being said, let's hop right into this thing. Now, this story right here takes place probably like around 2015, 2016 at CMC East. Now, this is a, a scenario right here that really could have been avoided. You know, sometimes... You have like uh, individuals, men who get bad advice. I'm going to hit y'all with some real names in this story right here, too. Now, uh, like I say, uh, we had a homie by the name of Dollar. I forget exactly where Dollar was from. Dollar was from maybe like Apple Valley, somewhere around there. He didn't gangbang. Now, when I say we had a homie, I'm talking about um, the homies from IE. IE, of course, is uh, the ge geographical location is two counties. San Bernardino County and it's Riverside County. And it's all, you know, all the cities that fall within that county. Like I say, uh, Dollar, he didn't gangbang. He was a cool dude, you know. Uh, he wore glasses. And, you know, he had he had the, uh, once you talked to him, he gave off the appearance he was a little soft. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I forget exactly what he was in there for, but he tattooed and stuff, you know. And so uh, what happened was, he messed around. He sold his TV. You know, he had a TV. Now, when we get TV sent in to us, uh, they, they get put on our property car. So when we walk over, we go pick the TV up. Um, the property officer has basically what's like a tattoo gun. And he's going to put your CDC number on the back of the TV. So in the event your cell gets searched or whatever, the officer can tell that is your property. Uh in the event they find somebody else with your property, depending on the infraction or why they searching your cell, sometimes they won't trip. Sometimes if they want to be assholes. They'll just take the TV because it's not on your property card. And they sometimes would do that as a, uh, you know, as a uh, punitive measure. So anyway, like I say, man, uh, during this time, about 2015, 2016, they had uh, started letting a lot of lifers go, you know, like around 2010, 2011. Now, me being a lifer, I had kind of started backing up off the homies due to um, due to several reasons. Like I say, one reason is because by me being from uh, IE, where there were so many different individuals coming in that I didn't know, sometimes dudes would come in. You know, I'd go over, I'd embrace these dudes, give them stuff that they didn't have. And then when the situation would jump off, a ride or something would kick off, these dudes would suddenly talk about, uh, you know, they're not with it no more, you know. And so, you know, it was a younger generation coming in and I couldn't continually risk my potential freedom, you know, riding for these dudes when they created issues and they wouldn't even ride for themselves. And then unfortunately, the younger generation nowadays, like I say, everybody is into it on the streets with each other. There is no more real unity. So there's no way to expect these dudes who don't have unity on the street to come to prison and be one single unit or be be solid with a bunch of individuals they was beefing with on the street. So anyway, like I say, my boy Dollar, he was kind of cool, though. You know, we used to chop it up and talk. He, at some point in time, he hit some bad type of financial situation where he had to sell his TV. You know, uh, he sold his TV for about $15, $25, somewhere up in there. I forget the exact price. He sold his TV to a brother by the name of Hickey. Hickey happened to be a blood from Bounty Hunter. Hickey was a younger type dude. Hickey was cool, though. He was a cool cat. So, uh, you know, they make the deal, man. And um, he sell, he sell Hickey to TV. Now, a couple of days after Hickey got the TV, for whatever reason, uh, his cell got searched. The CEO who searched his cell took the TV. Once he looked on the back of the TV and seen that the TV was not in his name, he took the TV. 
uh, when, now when he took the TV at some point in time, he recognized that Dollar's name was back on, uh, Dollar's name, it was Dollar's TV. It was, you know, Dollar's name was on, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Dollar's name was on the back of the TV. And so at some point in time, he called Dollar and told Dollar, hey, listen, man, I searched the cell. I found your TV in there. You want your TV back? Dollar tell him, yeah, man. You know, so uh, the next day he went, when he worked and gave Dollar the TV back. Now, somebody happened to see him giving Dollar the TV back. So, at some point in time, uh, Hickey gets aware that Dollar's got the TV back. So, Hickey approached Dollar like, hey, man, what's cracking, homie? Uh, can I get the TV? You know, I heard they gave it back to you. Dollar told him, uh, well, I don't know, you know. And so, I think Dollar told him, you know, I don't know. Let me talk to my homies about it. But like I said, Hickey had already paid Dollar for the TV in full, you know. So uh, now Dollar go holler at some of the homies, some of the younger dudes. Uh, we had a homie there by the name of Trub. Trouble was exactly that. Trouble was a lot of trouble. He was a, a younger generation individual. He's from he was from Colton. And uh, basically, Trouble was with a lot of bullshit, you know, to keep it real. Trouble had already been DP'd earlier by one of the homies. Uh, because he was on, Trouble was on a lot of bullshit. He was doing a lot of bullshit that was problematic, you know, um, getting, buying ducats or getting things from individuals, you know, not paying, not giving, you know, giving fake green dot numbers and stuff, stuff like that, that was definitely going to lead to a problem. So, you know, the homie whack from Gateway, bing, 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 went in there one day, bust him up, put hands on him, you know what I'm saying? And so, uh, I spoke to Trouble a time or two. Because I had done some time with uh with some of his homeboys before. One of his homeboys by the name of T. Rowe, Maurice Tansy, rest in peace. That was my dog. We was real good. We was real good. Uh, we was real good homies. You know, so I was, you know, I was doing what I felt that he would have done had he been with one of my homies who was running around. You know, not on the right path. Try to give him the right. Try to give him the right guidance. But like I say, so Dollar goes and hollers at. At Trub. Now, at this time, Trub probably ain't nothing but about 21, 22 years old. He only been in the pen probably about a year or two. He don't know how shit go. So he gave him some bad, he gave him some bad scandalous uh, advice. Told him, fuck it. You know, keep the TV. You know, he lost it. They gave it back to you. So this go on for like a day or two. Now, at some point in time, Dollar come ask me what he think I should, what I think he should do. I told him straight like this. I said, listen, Dollar, the dude paid you for the TV, right? You know, you got what you were supposed to get. You ain't lost nothing, homie. So what you need to do is keep it real, be solid, get that man his TV back. You know, because had the police went in there or not took it, you wouldn't have had it. You know, y'all made a deal. That man kept his end of the bargain. You know, I'm just being straight up. Be a convict, slide that dude his TV back. That's, that's the way shit's supposed to go. You know what I'm saying? So uh, regardless of what I told him, he chose not to listen to me. You know, so basically Hickey pressed the line on him like, what's up, homie? I'm going to get the TV back, man. Have that TV out for me tonight or it's going on. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's up or whatever. So like I say, Dollar taking the bad advice and to keep it real, Dollar wasn't even built like that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, uh, that night when they, when they let us out the yard, uh, he pushed up on Dollar. Hickey pushed up on Dollar. I forget who he had. He had a couple of his homies with him. Um, just so happened, Dollar happened to be with a couple of homies. Dollar was with the dude, Trub. He was also with another solid homie by the name of Little Steve-O from California Gardens. I had done time with Little Steve-O two or three times. Real solid individual. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Hickey pushed up to Dollar like, hey, man, what's up, man? You going to give me the TV or what? Dollar said, no, I'm going to bing, 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 bing. Hickey get right off on him. Then they start going on. Now, when they when they get off, to keep it real, the homie Trub, who was problematic, he fired. He get off on somebody. You know, then, uh, like I say, Hickey had a couple bluffs with him. They get off. Bing, bing. Now, they all over there squabbing. You know, it's, it's a big old melee. You know, well, not a real big melee. It's like about a three-on-three three or four-on-four, four, you know. And so, eventually, the police hit. Now, the police hit the, uh, the button now. But let me backtrack a little bit. So, now, when they, when they, uh, that night did the unlock to release yard. Uh, we got 10 minutes to go in, 10 minutes to go out. So I ran outside. I'm in another building. I ran outside real fast to go get me some water from the water fountain. So now just as I'm going outside to the water fountain, um, the yard go down. So I see some dudes over there squabbing at, at this point in time. I don't know who it is, but so now we prone out. They put us down on the ground. Uh, now when they, when they, the police went over there, they handcuff everybody. They get the walking dudes off. I can tell by the way, uh, 
the dude is walking, that is little Steve-O. Like I said, I've been knowing Steve-O for, for years, probably about nine, ten years at that point in time. And so they start walking him off. You know, all them dudes went to the hole. They eventually came back and everything was all good, you know. But the situation was this here. Like I told Dollar later on, you should have gave that man his TV back, you know. And that's part of the reason why I had stopped functioning with them dudes so tough because they were starting to do time in a different way uh, than I was used to doing time, you know. Uh, in my opinion, Dollar was clearly in the wrong because, like I say, dude had already paid for the TV, you know. So sometimes you live and you learn, you know. It's always instances like that in the penitentiary that it caused dumb shit, you know. But anyway, man, that was my story right there, the little melee over the TV. You already know what it is. It's your boy, 16 to life. Resume normal program.